You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today I have one of our regular favorites with Greater Brockton. I have T.D. Nguyenya. T.D., uh, welcome. Nice to see thanks you. Thanks for having me. We are going to talk about Fuller Craft and holidays. Yes, yes. <laughs> our holiday shop is open, and we have all these wonderful handcrafted gifts, and I brought one to show people. These are actually wool sweaters that were salvaged and repurposed as mittens mm. and it's a local company called uh, Cotton to Wool uh, her name is Susan Stokinger and she's right over in Whitman so right next door mm. and uh, so the cool thing about the shop is that we have all these local artists who are just making one-of-a-kind things you'll never find this anywhere else so definitely it's a good time to come to and Fuller Craft. If you don't want to go near a mall, exactly. near the mob scene, <laughs> exactly. that's a good place to go. Yes, it's nice and quiet, it's intimate and you'll get first-rate you know, care there at the museum shop, they love what they do and they'll treat you well. So, so the museum shop hours are the same as the museum the, so hours. So tell us what they are. So um, Tuesdays through Sundays from 10 to 5 and we're open late on Thursday evenings from 5 to 9. And uh, it's just a wonderful experience. We open the whole back gallery and fill it with all new goods just for the season. Mm -hmm. So hats, jewelry, wall hangings, you know, wooden spoons, carved, you know, it's just the variety is phenomenal. I even got this scarf there. I was, I fell prey to the marvelous, you know, selection that they have there. So definitely, it's on till January 10th, but you definitely want to go and, and pick out your presents right now. Well, there, there <laughs> are holidays that go all the way up to, what is it, Three Kings Day? And oh, things that's like true, that. that's All the way in January, so you're right at the 10th. Yeah, My yeah. dad's birthday's on the 8th, so we'll have to oh. find something for that. What do you get oh, for nice. someone that has everything? Oh. Who's in their 80s? It's hard to it's hard, hard to pick for that. Yeah, that's and I was telling you the story off camera of how my wife got me a present yes, through the fall. Yes, for your anniversary, yep. which is a wood anniversary. Mm -hmm. So you got she got a purchased a pen, mm -hmm. and they had these beautiful wooden. I'm going to bring pens, it here, but so. it's so heavy it would break the glass table. <laughs> I love it. It's really nice. nice. So Fuller in December is usually kind of a magical place. There's, there's yeah. you, you have different activities and events. What's going on in the month of December? We have different activities and events. We just finished one that I'll tell you about. It's called the Gingerbread Drop-In Workshop. Mm -hmm. And we just had it. And I have to say, it was one of the most fun events that we've had so far. I know it's past, but it was just fun. And we decided that we're going to do more make and take events where people can just drop in and make things. So be on the lookout. This coming year, every second Saturday you can drop in and make something so and, and that one was edible that this one was edible I yes. saw it after the fact I saw <laughs> someone posted some pictures on Facebook yeah. and they brought their uh, their their children and they really enjoyed it it was it was fun there were a lot of folks from the community there were a lot of folks who just you know came and curious about you know building something and it's all in tune with our Toothpick World exhibition that's opening on December 19th. Toothpick World? Toothpick okay, tell World. Okay, it has a great title. From Sliver to Skyline. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing. Stan Monroe is this artist who uh, makes these 1 to 164 ratio models of monuments from around the world. So you'll have the Eiffel Tower. You'll have, um, you'll have uh, Fenway Park. He's done local uh, mm -hmm. monuments as well. You'll have Trinity Church, and they're all made of toothpicks. Wow. It's pretty amazing because you look at it and you wonder, well, how much time, effort could someone, you know, <laughs> could someone stand? Well, it's, it's small, so you have to really pay attention to detail. I, oh, yeah. I, I am about yeah. as coordinated <laughs> as nothing. So back in the day when yeah. I was a kid, I used to do stuff with popsicle sticks. Ah, okay. yep. But yep. I've seen toothpicks. I was just at, I was down in Connecticut recently mm -hmm. in the Mark Twain house. There was a oh. Lego statue of Mark Twain. Oh, wow, yes. Okay, which was very See? cool. So you got, what's the date for that? Um, it opens on December 19th. And, uh, and it's open into 2016, and we have a special build and play family day on January 17th. Okay. Because, you know, like you said, you're, you're inspired by it because of, you know, it's all about building, and you want to build, and you want to, like, create things, so we made a special day for that, too. 
So. My original profession was architect, and then I figured huh. out how much math you had to do to do that. Yep. That was the end of it. I <laughs> yep. used to watch the Brady Bunch, and Mike Brady <laughs> yes. was an architect, and I'm That's like, right. gee, I can do that. Yes. And I used to draw, and I used to plan, and all. Yep. but then I figured out how the, the, the math side of it. If you're not good at math, yeah. you know, so I... I, I I did elsewhere. Yeah. I did things elsewhere. Yes. What else? So it's it's amazing when you see how realistic these monuments are and how much math it took. Yes. Um, so we got a lot of things going on. The, in the beginning of the year, we have a wedding fair going on on January 16th. Okay. Now is the first time we're having it, and you know. Planning your wedding, it should be a fun thing. It should be mm -hmm. a fun event. And so we're going to have champagne and we're going to have tours. No bridezillas for that. No right? bridezillas, no okay. bridezillas. But it's a great way to meet all these vendors, caterers, DJs, um, letterpress invitation makers mm -hmm. um, that can help put together your wedding. And also on top of that, you're at Fuller Craft and you could possibly book your wedding there as well. Right. So, and it's amazing. We're going to have, um, um, we're going to have a woman come, a metalsmith come and teach you how to make your own wedding rings. I mean, things wow. like that. It's really for the creative bride. You know, you want to have a creative, unique wedding, definitely come stop by on January 16th for the and fair. And that weekend you're talking about, 16th, 17th, that's Martin Luther King weekend. Yes. So people might have a little bit of extra time that weekend yeah. to, to come and either be part of the craft thing or if they're planning something upcoming, there Ex you go. Exactly. It's definitely a good weekend for families. And if you're coming to the wedding fair, great time to get together with your girls and, and stop by and your fiance. There you go. There <laughs> so, you go. Yeah. Is there uh, food available at these events? There, there are, there will be some tasting and mm -hmm. what we have goodie bags too. Um, so there'll be a little bit of something to, to, to snack on, yes. Now you said yeah. that Fuller's open Thursday nights. That's the night that you let people in there to sample the Ex museum. If you're exactly. not a member, exactly. you can come free It's free. On a Thursday uh, every night. Thursday night it's free from 5 to 9 and it's a great time to come because you, it's like you have the museum all to yourself, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just a beautiful place to come at night too. You know, um, there are very few places in Brockton where you can come and hang out and, and, uh, and just enjoy a space at night. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's lovely, you know, it really is. Um, so definitely people should come by and, and check out our neat exhibitions. So People want to find out more. Yes. There's different ways to do it. How do they find out? Uh, you can go to www.fullercraft.org or you can call us at 508-588-6000 and we will tell you all about what our offerings. So. And if you join, you get a magazine, a yes. quarterly magazine. We right? have our members magazine, which is really, um, which is really fantastic. It has news on our exhibitions and the people, the artists who are in them, and also just a whole rundown of all our workshops, exhibitions, talks, events. So if you become a member, we send that right to your house with your name on it. And there are other little perks also of becoming a member. You have discounts on the shop, you know, 10% mm -hmm. off on our, on our holiday shop. You get discounts on classes, discounts on lectures, discounts on events, discounts on the bridal, on the wedding fair. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so definitely it's a time to think about renewing that membership or becoming a member. And that membership is a good gift yes, for the holidays. Yes, it makes and a do, wonderful it's gift. It's easier than fighting them all. Yes, it is. Yes, okay. it is. And it's like giving a whole experience you know, that lasts an entire year. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to have you back and we're going to talk oh. about things that happen after these events. Yes. <laughs> so thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Okay. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.